We are reacting to the new Mr. Well, not the new one. Staying 24 hours in. Yep, my speaker. Sure. Here's your meal for the day. Thank you. Jake, hope it has a lot of protein. Beef ravioli and meat sauce. That's right. What's this one? Pork sausage. Jake, you look like a sausage. What is this? So you literally just pour hot water on it, and you're going to get Mexican style chicken stew. With your friend's t shirt in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Gotta reference that. Savages. Comment how you think Chris feels right now. A bunch of grown men depending on him for our lives. This is the first meal. I've been letting this water sit here and boil. Blow up. And you just stir it around, and then you reseal it, and it cooks itself. Chandler has literally been begging me the entire time, and it's getting on my nerves. But Chandler's the next person. So, if you guys all are I have to do to get special priority is be annoying. Yeah. Okay, noted. Remember, Chandler. Sorry. We all... Remember, Chandler, we all Sorry. get... <laughs> Shut up. We only get one. All right, it's time for you to, me to eat my meal. Let's go. Actually, no joke, it's really good. Wow. It's like, um... Cool, we get it. It's good. You want to flex on us more? Come I with. literally made you food. Go get your own spoon. That was my spoon. I opened the MRE. I made the... I put your tin up, then I made the fire, then I boiled oh. the water, then I made your food. So even... oh! I really feel like Chandler's not contributing as part of the team, and he's relying on me to do everything. And when he demands for a spoon after I cooked him his meal, that ain't right, Chief. What have you done for me? This is today. We're surviving. The life that we knew is gone. All right, Jimmy, this meal is for you. Pardon. Thank you, Chris. You're very welcome. Next time we do a challenge, I'll make you I'm not making it easier on you. I wish I had popcorn for this, because this is entertainment. I know it's hard. There's no microwave out here, okay? Or McDonald's. Or McDonald's. Or, or cookout. Or, <laughs> Literally the or Burger King. Yeah, he only eats like three foods. Chris is making fun of me because I can't do anything on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! This is my interview. You doing okay over there, Chandler? <laughs> did you really just fart? Yeah. Why did you fart? You know, I don't know why everyone's just ganging up on me, man. It's just... I don't know, but I'm... I'm done. Hey. I'm done. Hey, that's my phone. Guys, Chandler, Chandler just took my phone. Chandler just took my phone. Where's he going? I don't know. He just stormed off. Wow. Look at him. That's Come him right here. Chandler. Yes. Chandler ran away. We're sorry. I promise not to make fun of your next part. No. <laughs> Give me the camera. I'm going to go save Chandler. I'm coming to save you. What the f*** was that? Chandler. Come back to the camera. Gonna stop being mean to me. Hey. I. It's it, It's a two-way street. Who was I being mean to? You farted. What do you expect? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Chandler. You're not allowed to storm off like that. Well. Your dad would kill me. No more making fun of Chandler for the next 10 minutes. It's gonna be hard, but I'll try. 
This is breakfast hash. So this is the last easy one to make. This is our last easy meal. The other ones are kind of complicated. So this is for the morning. This okay. is mine. What? This is mine. This what? is for the morning. I, he whispers, this is mine. I made all of this. I eat what I want. So Chris thinks just because he cooked all of his food, he gets to eat the rest of it? I'm going to be honest. Yes, Chris did a lot in setting up, but I really think it's starting to go to his head. He built the tents. You made the food, you started the fire, you did everything. You don't have to rub it in our face, man. I'm taking over this kingdom when he's asleep. Chris dethroned. Well, I'm about to make another big fire so that way they can sit around it. And I'm not getting cocky, I'm just saying, I like breakfast. There's only one left. I think I should get it. I did everything. <laughs> what did you do? I ate I your came. food. I came. So we are building a second fire right here. Of course Chris is building it. Mr. Know-it-all. You want me to not do it? Oh, someone didn't take this little packet out either. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Wait, this little guy? Yeah. Oh, is, is shoot, it open? That's poison. No, but it says do not eat. Yeah, as yeah. long as it's not open, you're fine. As long as you can feel the bee hand it to me. They're all in there still. So apparently Chris left some, like, poisonous stuff in my food, and now he's telling me to eat it. I think this is his way of getting rid of me so he can have more food. Wait, what's all that in your cup, dude? see me again. That's why. <laughs> Audience, you see this. If I get sick, I'm suing Chris. Okay, not gonna lie, I forgot the pack of belt. It was just getting really annoying, so I'm just gonna walk out of my boxers. I don't even care. Hey, bud. How you doing? Very good. The fire's warm. Oh, my God! <laughs> Chill, dude. Where, where were you hiding? You guys couldn't hear me moving? All right, guys, I'm going to hit the hay. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a coyote or, um, I don't know. I'm just in the middle of a desert. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I'm going to yeet myself into bed because I'm so tired right now. So good night. All right, guys, we're about 15 hours in. Um, we're a little low on food because Chandler ate most of it. And we're also a little low on water. I don't know. We're going to go on some adventures today. Hopefully we don't dehydrate. I'm drinking all the water and food, so they're making me go out and find some more. Dude, I think there's some creatures out here. I just saw some footprints. Look at that. That's a dog. Bro, dogs are coyotes, dude. Look, they keep going. They literally walked right by us last night. Bro, is that your poop? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what scared off the coyote. Hey, I have the address of the first person who got the golden ticket. I'm gonna text it to you. Go buy it off them. I don't care what it costs. Roger that. All right, guys. So we're here at Sound Mr. Beast, and we're about to deliver the first golden ticket to the golden ticket winner. Right. They have no idea. Santa? Oh my gosh! No way! Are you serious? Yeah, man. Oh my gosh! How you doing? I'm good. proud to say that you were the first golden ticket winner. Gosh, dude, are you serious? Yeah, so go ahead, rip this thing open. Uh, Look at this desert right now. We're really in the middle of a desert. We brought a generator so we could charge our drone. Chan Chan, how you doing? I'm, I'm cooking alive right now. Here's all mine. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Ah, it's really, really hot. Yeah, I know, dude, this is getting unbearable. Holy crap, son, go away. How about you share? You already ate, like, all the food. I bought this one. Chandler eating again? Yes. Chandler! It's getting unbearably hot. I'm trying not to get sunburned. And also, we're out of food and we're almost out of water. Chandler's like hoarding our last bit of food. So wake up this morning in the desert, right? Chandler's still eating. We're already low on food. But again, he's just sitting there, stuffing his face. Ah, uh, dude, it's too hot. What are we talking about? I'm hungry is hot. Dying slowly. Guys! We have basically ran out of food. I'm hungry. Chandler. So the only logical thing we can do is we just split into two teams and go look for food. We're going to go on an exploration to those mountains over there and see if we can find some food. Tariq, you hold down the fort. Gotcha. Let's go, boys. Chandler, we're, we're falling behind Chris. Oh, my God.